It's Dragon Ball time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today I'm gonna have a look at the SH Figure Arts Son Goku in the Super Saiyan 3 version. This is the 2017 variety. We already had one. One of the very early Dragon Ball Figure Arts figures was actually Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Amazing, right? And we're finally getting a remake of it, which looks a lot better. Because let's be honest, the first one wasn't so wasn't so hype. Um, I'm gonna have a look at that at the end of the video. Gonna have a little bit of comparison. But before we even get to that, let's have a look at this one. Look, kids, it's Sonic the Hedgehog with his orange Naruto gi. Yeah, I put him on the base already because he's obviously you can't stand him with all this hair. I mean, look at that. Look at all this majestic golden hair. But first of all, let's have a look at the size real quick. He stands at about. I mean, if I'm really going to the top of his hair, that would be uh, a little over 15 centimeters, a little over 6 inches tall, but if you're going just to the uh, to his face, that's 13 and a half centimeters. Uh, basically 5 and a half inches tall. The hair looks super nicely molded. I do think it's... Uh, some of these are like really effing long. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's also standing out. That's one thing, that's one thing I don't really like. I'm not a super huge fan of it. Of course, the, the first time he did go Super Saiyan 3, it does, it does stand out like that, alright? It's not incorrect, but uh, in some cases it does hang down a bit more, and there's no articulation here to do that. But we'll get to the articulation, I mean, you can rotate it around. But let's focus on, the look of it is very nice, they have like a nice shiny metallic paint job on it, so it's really radiating light off of it, I, I dig that, I dig the look of it. Then the face sculpt, his eyebrows disappear, yeah, I don't... I don't really know what happened here. Like, what's... Is that... That's a big, ugly smudge. I guess it's just me. I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know if your spawning face has a... Has a spot like that, but yeah, ruined. Definitely not gonna use that face now. They once again have the black lines around the eyes. I, I, I say that because SH figures just kind of dumps back and forth with that. For the rest of the figure... We got the nice orange gi. And that was one of the things for the original release. It looked a lot more muddy. It had a bit of a different paint job. But I like when they make it look a little bit different when he has... You know, he's supposed to have the aura around him. We... Of course, you can't see it. You can't make aura in a figure. But um, I like that when they change the color of the gi. So for the rest of it, it's Goku. You know it. Uh, the muscles are nicely molded. And the rest of the gi... It's also good. We do have, once again, no, I don't know which one that was. I recently had the same problem with a figure art Dragon Ball figure. There's no shading on it, except for here. They're just like the, some, some black smudges uh, around his pants over here. And that's, that's not good looking. It's weird. I don't know what the point of it is. Did he poop himself in reverse? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, boots look nice. And uh, I mean, overall, he does have a good look. Now I want to have a look at the articulation. First of all, the head is on a ball joint, I think, with a pack, and you can move that forward. It goes nicely, and back a lot, because obviously you have all this room over here. So that's where the, the, where the hair is pretty nice. Also, the hair itself, you can rotate it around a little bit. Actually, a lot, because it's... wow, I didn't even notice. It's somewhat softer material. It's not super soft. It is spiky, though, so... Be aware, don't don't stick it in your eye. I mean, why would you do that? I think it might be on a, on a small ball joint, but because there's no room really, can't really bring it. But there's one over here, there's one over there, and uh, one over there. I think there's like three, three times connected, and then up here. So there you go with that. Then, of course, uh, also the hat goes a little bit side to side, not really that much. And then we got the neck, neck super articulated, you can bring that around as you can tell forward, back, and a little bit side to side motion as well. Then we got to the uh, shoulders, and I really love this. I love this piece. Let me tell you why I love this piece. They made it a lot bigger, so you can really hide the articulation at basically all times, even if you move it up. You really move this around, it's just packed in over here on the ball joint, and it's really nicely done, so you can move that around and just like really work around with it and hide the articulation. They made that very nicely. As you can tell, there's the hinge going into ball joint, and you have a nice butterfly joint, you can bring that forward. That's very good, and you can rotate it around. I feel like the hinge would go up a little bit more. But then there's uh, the big shoulder pad over here. And, yeah, that's that's as far up as I get it. Although, I 
Maybe that's it. Maybe it's not because of shoulder pad. Maybe that's just it. I have bicep swivel over here, double hinged elbow. Then we got the fist, ball joint, cut ball joint. You can move that up and down. And all the way around the chest area. Also has some very good motion and it looks clean. I mean, the conversion is nice for the most part. I don't really see, uh, I don't really see a problem with that. And uh, it's been like with these last couple of ones, I, I, I wasn't too sure on this, this conversion over here. But for, for this one, I do, I do dig it. And then we got, I think, a long pack that's probably connecting to the crotch piece. Let me see the bound. I cannot pull it out. That's why with uh, a lot of the earlier figure arts, you could kind of pull this out. To get some more articulation, well, let's see. Where it goes around, of course, and then we go rotate this around, and it does. It doesn't really have any articulation in the torso. There's no room here, and that's why I try to pull it out. But no, it's really just the the belt is in there very stiff. I mean, it, it's not connected as far as I can tell, so you can move that around. But there's not really much torso articulation. You really just, I mean, the chest does a very good job, so I'm. I guess I'm okay with that, let's see. Then down, let's see what the uh, the crotch piece does. Crotch piece itself doesn't really do that much, but the leg articulation is pretty good. So you can bring these forward. Let me see what, what you get if you combine all these things. I mean, you can still... He still moves forward and very fairly nicely. And then we got the legs. And you got all this going on, so that's, that's crazy. It looks kind of crazy, but uh, it does get a good range of motion. Legs go up almost all the way. And it looks really good, although this has a little bit of a brighter orange. I don't know, that's just that's just weird. Could they not get that? Could they not mold that in a different orange? Oh well, goes back, no, oh my god, like all the way to... Usually it gets blocked by the bot, but the, the way they put it together over here, it all rotates around with it, so that's pretty cool. Then we got the knee pad, I mean... Uh, <laughs> they're getting there, alright? They're working on the knees, and it, it gets better all the time. This is... A lot better than the big gaps you had before, but obviously it's still not good, but also obviously it's very hard to do this with these big flappy pants. I don't know, why just not have a big ball joint that kind of converts over here? I don't... That's that's my fault. Like, you have that with the Ranma figures, which also have flappy pants. Yes, there's not as much wrinkles in those, but still, I think that would probably work better than this. But yeah, articulation-wise, it has a very good range. Then we got the boot. It does not swivel. has no swivel over there. And the foot. Rotates left and right. Not really, it's just on a ball joint once again. It's just like, with these things like recently, it, it moves in, but it doesn't really move out a lot. Well, back and forth motion, motion also very limited, and we have a toe hinge. And a nice detail on there, so... Yeah, there's that. First of all, we got three more faces. We got the Gooding Teeth one. All of those look better than the one... Oh, no, none, of these, none of these have any quality control issues, fortunately enough. But, uh, yeah. I do think the, those look very good. I like the, the detail in the hair also. I didn't even notice the, the little stripes over there and the gold. The gold really makes the hair pop. I, I'm a big fan of that. Big shiny stuff. Big shiny hair. Sanic. And the yelling face. He doesn't have a actually a neutral face. Just like the, the stern look. Looking to the side, I guess. As far as hands go, we do have a very nice variety. You have these posing hands. With the, uh... Does like kind of like a claw, and same thing. Booby grab hands. I haven't. They haven't said that work. I, mean, I haven't said booby grab hands along. We call these booby grab hands around here, but you can call them blast effect. You can call them crawl, whatever. Instant transmission. The double fingers, and it just out of my finger on the ground. Then we got some more chop hands for both sides, and some more. Those are those are usually blast hands or slap. If you want to slap somebody, slap, slap. Eh. Oh, and by the way, he also comes with a complete base. Thank you for that, because you wouldn't be able to stand him with the long hair. Now, moment of truth time. Old versus new. Which one is better? I mean, it's it's actually kind of obvious, like, seriously. I don't know what they did with the skin tones of the old Goku. It, 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 look, look at all this, just like... I don't know, it looks like he tried to apply some fake tan, and it went so wrong. Also, he's super loose recently, I just noticed that. Um, this one's a lot tighter, and I don't know, I didn't really move that one around that much, so I mean, I don't know. I guess just because it's old. Now, overall, I'm actually surprised at the hair, how similar it looks. 
I'm actually thinking they they did. They, uh, it, it is. There's some small differences here and there. I mean, this part is bigger than the other one. But uh, overall, I don't know. It, it it looks very similar. So they might have just recycled parts of that. The Oriola. Is that the real name? Oriola? I don't know. Let's make that up. Also looks pretty much the same. This one is a lot more. Uh, I know, a little less see-through, not so good looking, but yeah, uh, the, the big thing here is the color of the gi, and a lot of people hated this one, like I'm saying, it was a lot more muddy and almost brown, I do kind of like that, it gives it more like a gold vibe, and I think that's what they were going also with the skin tones, it failed there, but um, yeah, I still, I like the, that, they did, that they do a little bit of different colors, with uh, with the Super Saiyan forms, like with all the Super Saiyan forms, you always have the aura, and they look different. So as a result, I also want to have regular Goku over here. See, he almost has the same color as the new Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And then we're gonna look at the old Super Saiyan, regular Super Saiyan Goku, which has a lot more of a yellow going on. Once again, with the uh, Super Saiyan aura that surrounds him, I dig that. I think it's a cool idea to give Goku a little bit of a different color gi. And just for comparison, you have also the Awakening version. We have all the Gokus, like almost all the Gokus in, in this regular gi. And just like with the one from Tamashii Nations, which I bought in the uh, Kaioken mode, which is completely red. So, uh, I don't know. Um, overall, this figure is way better. Just overall, the, the, the paint job on the skin here is horrible and the face looks... The face looks also kind of small, it's very narrow and stuff, and that's one of the things they fixed. And uh, I mean for the rest of it, it is the old Goku mode versus the new Goku mode of course. Alright, final thoughts, what do I think about this figure? Boy oh boy guys, I was not excited when they announced this, I was like, oh we already have Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and just like another Goku, and <laughs> Fast forward to now, with me holding this guy in the hand, yeah, th this one was necessary, because looking at the old one, the old one looks, the old one looks rough, alright. And uh, it's still, the old one's still good, but this one's just way better, way better looking. And uh, yeah, I mean, bad? I don't know. The, I mean, personally, I don't like how the hair is sticking out, but that's just personally, that's not even, it's not even a legit complaint. The smudge over here with the shading in the, in the, in the pants, that's just, I don't know. And the arm doesn't go up so far, but that's, that's really it. I mean, it's... Uh, no, there's nothing else to, to complain about this guy, so I do recommend him, I do think he looks amazing, and I do love me some Super Saiyan 3, so kudos to that, go out and get him! And it's gonna do it guys, as usual, thank you very much for watching, don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like, and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for my figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, once!